wasn't a bad man. He was away in the city when he got the news. But she didn't hear from him for a long time. The summer before, he used to come across the tracks to visit her little brother, Benjamin. All right, here it comes. Track three. Oh, almost hit me. You ain't gonna hit it if you don't keep your eye on. One ready to sum to my eyes. You sure you're ready? Yeah, I'm gonna hit this time. All right, come on, pitch. Pretty soon, he started spending all of his time with her. They would sneak off secretly. They spent the whole summer together. Then he left town. He had promised her he would come back soon. Nelson, I'm going to get you a bigger spit tune. <laughs> he need He can't hit I that. I can't miss that. He can't hit the ground. <laughs> oh, I could him. Benjamin. How you doing, buddy? Well, look, I'm going in for a soda or something. I came here to tell you to marry my sister. Benji, I can't do that. You should have thought of that before. Well now, it's old Albert Benjamin. How you boys doing? Coming in for a soda? Oh, uh, yeah. Bye, Gil. Excuse me, Benjamin. Benji? Soda? Have you seen Jenny recently? No. Just the mother. You know, Albert, there's no telling what Ms. Wilder did if she knew you were in town. I heard that woman walked all the way down to the sheriff's office just to have you arrested. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here. Albert, you got yourself in a fix. What are you going to do? I don't know. Got to do something, though. Well, could always marry her. He's back, son of a bitch is back. Not a word from him in almost a year, and he has a nerve to show his ass around this town. He's gonna marry her if I have to put a gun to his head. You just gonna sit there and do nothing? What you want me to do, Margo? Do you? Well, somebody's gotta do something. This family ain't gonna live in shame not as long as I'm alive, no, sir. Oh, I'm always pipes down for crying out loud. Put that thing away, you don't even know how to use it. Oh, like hell I don't. Now, where are you going? Ma's a hard-headed woman. She thinks she can talk something into those turners. 
They ain't gonna do nothing they don't wanna do. No matter what she does. Two different worlds. Well, Albert, it's awfully nice to have you home for a little while. Don't worry. Sheriff Sanders is not going to arrest you while you're here. He knows it's a family matter that'll take care of itself. Mom, Mrs. Wilder walked 20 miles to try to get me arrested. I don't think she'll stop now. Yes, well, I wish that family would just go away. Albert, you're not going to marry that trashy Wilder girl, are you? <coughs> well, no. No, he's not. Afraid I haven't had much experience in this sort of thing. Your mother was the only one. You know what I mean? If you need some money, just say so. Your mother and I care very much for our children. All we want is the best for you. Get that dog, son of yours, out of here right now! He's not here. Now you go home. I know he's around here somewhere. You tell him he better come out here and marry my little girl. Wrong to him just like I done your cock here. You better leave before I call Sheriff Sanders. I ain't leaving here until he comes out here and tells me he's going to marry my little girl. I told you he's not here. And he doesn't have anything to say to you even if he were. You old bitch. What do we do with her? Just hold her. Mom, call the sheriff. That dog ain't leaving this town until he tells me he's going to marry my little girl. Sheriff Sanders, this is Miss Turner. I need you to come down here and pick up Miss Wilder. She's out front with that shotgun again. Yes, Where are you headed? I'm going into town to get some goods from Ma. Could you give me a ride somewhere first? Wipe that stupid grin off your face. Kind of got yourself in a mess, huh? Paul, give you some money? Just drive, would you? Are you gonna marry her? And I say just drive. Sorry. You got yourself start of a business here. Yeah, something like that. Well, how's your hitting? It's all right. How's your curveball? It's all right. You here to see your kid? 
Well, uh, yeah. Hey, Jenny, Albert's here to see his kid. It's a girl. Her name's Doris. Jenny. So you're not a church. I hate church. Yeah, I never was much for it myself. So you, uh, Want to come out of here on the porch? Albert, why are you here now? Well, I, I got your letter about the baby and Doris. I... Doris. Well, yeah, Doris. Well, anyway, I got your letter about Doris and I figured you I wanted to... You wrote back. I know. I'm sorry. Jenny, you know I'm not much for writing. But I thought about you, I promise, and I was going to come back. It's just that... Well, things are a little more complicated now. No, I don't think it's a good idea if you hang around here much longer. My mom will shoot you right where you're standing. Yeah, I know. Jenny, could we meet later, maybe somewhere else? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> will you think about it? I don't know if it's such a good idea. Jenny, could, could we meet later, maybe at the mill? Jenny? Benjamin, will you stop that, please? Why? You're upsetting the baby. Benjamin! Come here, I want to talk to you, Benjamin. Benjamin! I ain't got nothing to talk about. Benjamin! Hey, Benji. Hey. Can't believe you still have this old thing. Where's your mom? She's in jail. Help me out here, would you? What do you want? I need some time with Jenny. <laughs> you had your chance. I mean, you know, some time with her alone. I think you should stay away from my sister. What? You heard me. Oh, come on, Benji. Be a buddy. Now, I, I can't keep coming around here with your mom running around with a shotgun. I need Jenny to, to meet me somewhere else. You cause enough trouble already. Just stay away. I think maybe she'd meet me at the mail. No. 
Benjamin, now come on. You gonna marry her? Benji, it ain't that simple. It seems pretty simple to me. Well, it ain't. You'll learn that someday. Tell her I'll be at the mill after supper. And Benji, hold on to that, okay? Jenny. Did you tell you I'd be here? Well, how'd you get away? I just left. Ma didn't say anything? No. She's too busy yelling at Papa. And the baby? What about the baby? Well, is she all right there at the house? Doors will be fine. You don't need to worry about her. Say, so you want to come in out of the cold? you and a bit. Doris. I left because, well, I, I felt trapped. Now you're back. Well, yeah. I had to get out for a while just to sort things out.
wanted to help out with the baby. Why don't you just go back where you came from? Where's Mom Pa? Pa's passed out and Mom took off. Uh. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Go to the mill? Uh-huh. Well, what happened? Nothing. Was he there? I gotta go inside now. Charles eat most of it. <laughs> you must have got up pretty early. You didn't get your hair combed this morning. Got it parted, though. Started right in the middle. That's a good place to part. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing back in town? <laughs> Need a bus ticket to the city. One way. One way. So you're leaving town, huh? Yep. Well, like I always said, you gotta make your own decisions in the long run. never really told me the true story about my father. 
she had always told me he'd been killed in an accident. I found out many years later the true story.